Hi, this is your host Sapna Bharatiya and welcome to our 2022 predictions series. And today we have with us Brandon Hennigan, CEO of Sunrise Security. Brandon, it's great to have you on the show. Really nice to uh, talk to you again, Sapna. Happy New Year. And we are going to ask you to pick up your crystal ball and share your predictions for this year. Before we go there, let's just do a quick re recap about the company. What do you folks do? So we help companies secure their public cloud environments. And so public clouds are their usage of AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, Oracle Cloud, for example. We gather data from those clouds. We graph everything which we see in order to find risks, automatically eliminate those risks, continuously monitor to make sure they never come back. And we do it in a way which involves security teams, the cloud teams, and the development teams as well. So now it's time for you to pick up your crystal ball and share with us your predictions for this year. Well, one of the predictions, sort of easy, isn't it, is that cloud itself will continue to grow unabated. We've seen it uh, transform and, and involve more spending than traditional data centers. But one thing that becomes very real as we go into this year is, you know, clearly there was a time when it was very dominated by AWS. And over the last couple of years, and as we go into this year, wow, has Microsoft really jumped in with Azure, and then even this past 12 to 18 months, we've seen a lot of GT, GCP, and which is, of course, Google Cloud as well, Swap Mill. So I think there's going to be a lot of uh, competition, a lot of multi-cloud, and just continued growth in it. I like to say, though, Swap Mill, there's nothing new really about this cloud and cloud growth. How to govern and secure it, though? Boy, is that still nascent. Companies are still trying to figure out the, the model for that. A second one, by the way, as we go into the year, a second thought is that attackers typically, hackers, they typically go after easy targets. So for example, going after hospitals and figuring out how to encrypt uh, their IT real estate in order to do you know, ransom and, and things like that. I will tell you going forward, the hackers go where the action is. And as more and more infrastructure goes into cloud, you're going to see the attackers get really, really sophisticated about what's happening under the covers of cloud. We've seen some of that, but not to the extent that it will start happening in 2022. This is really important because cloud is, the, the infrastructure under the covers of cloud, it's new, it's different, how we secure it is different. As the attackers begin to understand the uniquenesses of identity models, the uniquenesses of microservices applications, and the unique opportunities to get lateral movement across clouds, I think that will be a game changer for how it is we approach governing and securing that cloud, which gets us into a third prediction. You know, obviously, you know, we've been a pusher of this for a long time. Companies will realize identity and understanding identity, including non-people identities and machine identities, is foundational for governance and security of public cloud swap now. There's just no other way to do it. Because of microservices applications rely upon the framework of identity to communicate and build those applications, securing that is critical. So there's two related things. As attackers figure out their way through this identity model, we have to respond with incredible governance and removing of risk on this thing. And then one last couple of thoughts is the traditional vendors. Think about security in general, swap note, right? There's whatever, a thousand vendors if you go to one of these industry conferences. About 975 of them are really focused on traditional data center and enterprise network and normal company environments. They're very superficial with cloud. Well, and they're going to start feeling very much like dinosaurs as we go into 2022, 2023, very much like dinosaurs without the cloud native ability to actually adjust for this future because of the last challenge I would have, which will be an ongoing prediction and challenge, which is skills, skills, skills. How do we help our CISOs get more knowledgeable about cloud? How do we help our cloud teams get more, more knowledgeable about the needs of enterprise security? And how, in general, do we get more skilled people in terms of the underpinnings of cloud? That's going to be a really important for us. It's going to be painful this year as people realize and continuously get impacted by uh, limited cloud skills and particular cloud security skills. 
thank you for sharing these three predictions with us. Um, if I ask you, what is going to be the focus of the company this year? The focus actually for our company is helping our customers transform their security operations to be suitable for cloud. We developed this amazing platform, Subnet, but we need our customers and want our customers to use that to transform their security operations. So that's from a technology perspective, tons of things which we're adding uh, into our platform. And then as a company itself, we've had an amazing year. We grew revenue over 300%. We uh, scaled our business dramatically in 2021. And this year we are already expanding into Europe and expanding into Asia. We've got an amazing new investor to help us do that. So that'll be our focus for 2022. Brennan, thank you so much for taking time out today. And of course, talk about the company and share those insights uh, or uh, predictions for this year. I would love to have you back on the show uh, at the end of this year to get a the next set of predictions for 2023 and also to see you know how many of your predictions turn out to be true but uh, thanks for your time today i really appreciate that thank you swapmail it's always a great pleasure